So since it is Stay Focused Week, we have the song dropping on Friday, and I actually just launched the Stay Focused store. I'll put the link below. I felt like it was only right to tell you how Stay Focused, the ministry, came to be. So in this video, that's what we'll be talking about. Stay focused, stay focused. No, it's hard, but you gotta keep going. Now, if you would have told me at the beginning of my career, and even really four or five years ago, that I would be having my own ministry, much less being a Christian rapper, I would have thought you were crazy. For those that don't know, I have been doing music for, this will be going on 14 or 15 years. I was always considered a positive rapper and I kind of avoided the Christian rapper um, title. I didn't cuss, you know, everything I talked about, even though it was secular, it was mostly, at least 90%, I would say positive. I always kind of avoided the Christian hip hop label and even though people tried to kind of sway me into that lane, um, I knew that I wasn't ready for that. I cared too much about what people thought. I didn't like the character assassinations that came along with it. You know, I didn't mind people questioning my talent and stuff like that. But when they came after my character, I, I just had a problem with it. And, you know, obviously, if you look at the comments now on some of the videos that I've dropped, Recently, you can see what I was talking about. Like I said, if this had been a few years ago, I wouldn't have been ready for that. But now it doesn't really bother me. There's certain things that, you know, that gets under my skin a little bit. But, you know, I know how to deal with it now. Um, I think reading the Bible, you know, for the first time before, right before I came back into Christian hip hop, uh, it kind of let me know that this is how it was going to be, you know, what to expect and things like that. So, but yeah, uh, Stay Focused came about. I was just telling myself to stay focused a lot. If you look back at my career, you kind of see the the up and down. Like I was doing good, then I would fall off, and then I'd be doing good again, then I would fall off. And, you know, for me, it was just telling myself, you know, stay focused, man, stay focused. You know, I, I said it a lot. And so it just kind of stuck. It was one of those things that just kind of stuck with me. It's based off of Colossians 3.2, which is set your affection on the things above and not the things on earth or earthly things. And that just kind of lets you know to focus on God. Don't worry about this world. Don't worry about the things around you. Even good things, good things or bad things, you know, set your affection on the things above. And that's what stay focused is based off of. Um, but, you know, just telling myself, stay focused and telling others to stay focused whenever I was ministering to them or just in conversation, you know, to stay focused. For me, it just, it was one of those things where, you know, like I said, I was doing this. I was going up and down. Um, but, you know, even that wasn't enough to actually start a ministry. Um, I was just very introverted. I'm, I'm a very introverted person. Um, doing videos like this is not normal for me. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get better at it. Um, I was always behind the scenes. I did music and I enjoyed music videos and one-on-one -on -one conversations and stuff like that. But there's a lot of things that I just wasn't comfortable with that you do in ministry. So I never saw myself being a minister or having a ministry. But also, I just felt the push from God. I felt, you know, the Holy Spirit just giving me the strength that I needed, the motivation that I needed to do things that I normally wouldn't have done. You know, I, this is not something I would do without God being involved. And even doing music again, um, I was done with music, you know, for good. In 2018, I was done. Um, and then God put it on my heart to actually do gospel music, strictly gospel music, um, which is something I never had did before. That that was part of it. Um, you know, <laughs> you know, I saw I saw a meme once and I don't remember exactly what it said, but I know it says something along the lines of. You're not going to wake people up. So basically stop trying. And, you know, that's where they're supposed to be. And I took so much offense to that because I'm like, what? Where Where is that in the Bible? Where, when did they give up on people? That motivated me itself. Uh, just to see that, seeing how people were saying, you know, to stop. Stop preaching the word to people. Stop trying to save people. Stop trying to get them to turn to Christ, I, man, that, that was enough for me. That was enough to kind of motivate me because I don't give up on people. I don't care how far gone they are. We've seen what's going on in the industry. We've seen what's going on in the world. 
I don't give up on people. I don't affirm people or, you know, accept what they're doing, but I don't give up on them because we know that one day they could just turn a new leaf. You know, we've seen it going on this year, this year and last year um, was a very powerful year. We saw a lot of names, a lot of people who came to Christ that had a lot of people shocked. And I think it's going to continue. I was never one to give up on people. I don't give up on my friends. I don't give up on family. I don't give up on strangers. So that right there motivated me to go out and minister because, you know, I made songs about it where, you know, I don't give up on people. Um, you still have time as long as there's air in your lungs and you're able to wake up every day. There's still time for you to get to Christ. There's still time for you to repent. There's still time for you to come back home. Um, I always quote Luke 15, the prodigal son, you know, you can always go back home and God will welcome you back with open arms no matter how far you've gone astray. When I first started doing the ministry, it really was discreet. Uh, nobody really knew about it. I would deliver Bibles, but I would do it discreetly. I would kind of put it on people's cars, on their windshields. I wouldn't, it wasn't hand to hand or most of it wasn't. And then I would, I was also giving out uh, homeless bags or hope bags is what we call them hope bags to the homeless um, which was just like a tote bag filled with you know necessities had a bible in there and a lot of other things um, to the homeless and so it was kind of like a bible ministry and a homeless ministry that's really how I started um, and then minister slugger had an event and I, I set up a table and I had a lot of boxes of bibles I passed out it was it was a lot of Bibles. It was like two or three hundred Bibles, uh, both English and Spanish that I gave out. And so that really motivated me. And I performed that day as well. Um, I had some I was already doing the gospel music at the time. So uh, I performed that day. I passed out Bibles. And that's kind of it was kind of motivating for me because I felt like I was really, you know, I was doing something and I, something I had never done before. And, you know, I just wanted to help. I just wanted to do my part. I wanted to contribute. I never thought I'd be the minister type. I love talking to people. I love helping people um, get through whatever they're going through. I feel like I can relate to people, at least to what I've been through with the sobriety issues, with lust issues, anxiety, stress, depression, things like that. Um, I'm very vocal about. I don't hide it. I put it in my music. I try to tell, you know, talk to people who are going through similar situations. You know, that's kind of what stay focused is all about. It, it It's really just about actually staying focused on God. Um, what it comes down to is life is going to get hard. There's going to be a lot of times where, you know, you feel like giving up. There's going to be times where it, it seems like it's not going to get better or, you know, that that you don't want to keep going. And we have to stay focused on God because this life can throw you whichever way, you know, at any time. And we just got to stay focused on God. We need to stay focused on what's important and, and trust him and put our trust in him. You know, when I lost my dad, uh, stay focused wasn't even around yet. Uh, it was 2019 I lost my dad. And, you know, so from coming from that perspective, um, I lost focus. You know, I relapsed back into drinking. I had, I had been sober for over a year and, you know, I relapsed about a month after or no, I, actually two months after. Um, and so I didn't have that focus. And so, like I told you, I, I was telling myself, stay focused, stay focused. And it took a while to kick that to kick that relapse again. But eventually I did it. And my faith grew stronger during that time because I was leaning on God more. And I just want to help others do the same. So um, I hope and pray that this ministry continues to grow. I pray that I'm able to do more things. Um, I have a lot of plans for 2024. More things I want to get involved in. More things that I want to do. Um, obviously, the music is there. I'm trying to. I'm trying to stay consistent with that. I'm trying to to drop as consistent as possible. Um, trying to do more videos trying to do more interviews and things like that so i mean we'll see where this thing goes we'll see where the where the ministry goes and where we're at at the end of the year um but i feel i feel good about things i feel like there's a lot of good things happening there's definitely a shift happening in the world and you know i, I say it all the time we're in a spiritual battle 
And so I'm just going to do whatever I can do and play my part. And I pray that I can help, you know, a lot of people along the way. So, so yeah, stay focused is here. It's here. We're not going anywhere. And we're going to continue to put out content, put out music, and hopefully help a lot of people this year and, you know, in the years to come. So thank y'all for your support. Like I said, the merch store has launched. So if you want to support and buy a shirt, feel free. The link will be in the description below. Um, Stay focused. The song and video will be out Friday. And so I just want to encourage everybody to stay focused and, you know, stay in your word. Stay focused on God and endure till the end. God bless y'all. Stay focused, stay focused. Know it's hard, but you gotta keep going. Don't let life put you in slow motion. Get your faith up, keep on growing, and stay focused.